Rise and shine gamers, welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Fantech Aria. The third or fourth or fifth, whatever mouse in the egg shape family that has released. And when it comes down to performance, when it comes down to the sensor, it's one of the best performing sensors in the egg shape family. And you know what? We have three different egg shapes for you today. We're gonna to be looking at the G305. We're gonna be looking at the Fantech Aria, and we're gonna be looking at the Orochi. And this review is going to be based off of me. It's gonna be based off of my small hands. They're 16 by nine. Yes, they're tiny. So I'm gonna give you my opinions. I'm gonna give you what you should do if you are a small handed gamer like myself. If the Fantech Aria is going to be comfortable for you, what kind of grip style you'll use, um, and we'll compare the three different shapes, three different egg shapes, and we'll see which one I would prefer a small-handed person to use at the end of the day. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. We have three different eggs on the table. The fourth egg is sitting in the chair right now. You know what I mean? Um, but today we're going to look at, from a small-handed perspective, what egg shape feels the best in a hand like mine, um, based on the grip that I use, and we're going to go over which one I would prefer to use since I have small hands. Right off the back, I did pick up G305 off Amazon, and I can tell you this is the least... least favorable shape out of the three that I have this I wouldn't even really consider I mean yeah the outer the top shell looks like an egg right but the sides actually curve in so they're actually sloped in to the mouse I don't know how well you can see it but when you hold on to the mouse your your thumb actually goes in and it's like it's kind of kind of curving they want to curve it under the mouse so for me to go from say the orochi where the sides are flat you have that thumb groove they're not going trying to go under the mouse so like the g305 is the orochi is already 100 times more comfortable same thing the aria aria has the same angled um, shape on the side, on the sides of the mouse, than the G305. So I would automatically tune this out for small hands. Why? Because yes, it is long. So when you do go into, yeah, you can fingertip this. You can finish this all day long. But look where it comes down in my hand, right? It comes pretty close to the back of the palm, where if you hold the mouse a little lower, you could get a good pullback into the hand for those vertical movements. Um, but if you just place your hand on the mouse, you're not getting too much movement on the mouse when it comes to bringing it in in like a nice relaxed. Um, I would say this is like a relaxed, I don't know, claw, relax, palm. This is how I hold my mice pretty much on the side. Make sure I have enough room on there. One and two. And I kind of dig my thumb inside for extra extra support. So when I use my main, pretty much pick it up like this. I don't full palm my mouse. There's no really benefit from a full palm. You're losing too much movement. You're you gotta bring your arm, whole arm down, to get that vertical adjustment in. I pretty much same way I would grip the 305. But my ring and pinky sit inside the bolt where it kind of narrows in. Same thing on the side. That way I have free range of motion with anything that I do. The 305, same thing. But how the sides angle inwards, it's super uncomfortable. It's like I'm trying to put my hand under the mouse while I'm gaming. And I don't see why anybody would want that. 
and yeah uh, with the orochi and aria on the market 305 is literally pointless to get in my opinion now the orochi this is a lot smaller mouse than people think it is i believe 108 millimeters long which is short it's extremely short but where the orochi um kind of gives with the shortness is the wideness so pretty much the way it is it's an egg so you place i'll place my hands on there just like how i'd grip every other mouse and now i have a lot more movement and a lot more play in the back of the palm to pretty much bring this bad boy in adjust use some fingertip action on the grip and on the side super easily spammable clickable i don't have to worry about like adjusting so much my hand and trying to figure out what's comfortable no i just throw my hand on the mouse and it's actually it's super comfy <clears throat> more play more um movability in the hand to adjust to any different scenario that you're trying to do whether it's flicks whether it's tracking vertical horizontal i mean for a small hand like me the orochi feels really good but for the aria right so the aria has a 3395 sensor which yes it does beat out in my opinion both of these all three of these mice actually the sensor it has a middle placement sensor unlike the orochi where the orochi has a higher sensor so movements might you might feel like your um movements are a lot faster than normal it's because you have a higher sensor and then 305 it's in the middle it's pretty much like the aria and same thing with the bolt pretty much smack that in the middle but when it comes to the aria being in the middle you also have the widest part of the aria in contact with your hand for me personally so the skates on the aria are also in collab with esports tiger not really sure which ones they are um but on the temple of dreams the control pad from padsmiths it does feel nice this compared to the bolt are two different speeds the bolt's a lot slower than the aria when it comes to movement based on the skates and i'll talk about that in my tower of dreams review that will be showing up shortly as well and when it comes to the clicks the clicks are cal 8.0s and these are actually really well done they're spammable they're clickable they feel good um there's not really not really any like post travel pre travel i don't find myself having too much pre travel scroll wheel scroll wheel has nice defined steps compared to the orochi where you're gonna the texture on the scroll wheel you feel a lot more where the scroll wheel on the aria kind of it almost feels the same exact as a um super light so this reminds me a lot like the super light scroll wheel spammable it's not extremely hard to press in so the bolt the fine steps it's a nice it's a different type of rubber but you can spam that one too orochi Fine steps, not as defined as the Aria. You can feel each individual step. Same thing. I mean, yeah, you can feel both all defined steps on these. And I think the ugliest one is the 305. All around, I don't like the 305. I pulled it out of the box and I was like, yeah, this isn't it. This is not going to work for me. It's an awkward shape, even though it looks like an egg. I wouldn't really define it as an egg because it doesn't have the same curvatures as an egg it's flatter than the aria and the orochi but back to the aria in hand it's wireless 3395 sensor you have two different types of or three different types of connections you got the wired you have the wireless and you got the bluetooth and then when it comes to the shape 
the way I hold this, right? So when I go to place my hand on the mouse, like I would do the Orochi, the Orofi, any, any, any mouse that I have, I will have the same grip. When I place my hand on the right hand side, my index or my ring finger is om it's pretty much on that outer the wideness where you feel the wideness come out so there's a little you're, you're gonna feel a lot wider on the aria compared to the orochi where if you're sm if you have small hands you will notice it i notice the right side of the mouse way more on this than any others any other mouse that i have just because of how wide it actually feels in hand now if you have a medium sized hand yeah by all means i mean go try an aria because your hands are going to be wider hand your hands are going to be longer fingers are going to be longer so you're going to have probably a different grip style where you'll probably be back here and you won't really feel the like in a relaxed or um more comfortable notion that you have but for me in order to get comfortable and to get a nice relaxed grip the right hand the right side of the hand is placed right on the widest part of the mouse I just don't find that comfortable and when it comes to tracking with this mouse when I have my thumb in this area so say if I'm trying to go straight down when my thumb moves in it's actually pushing the mouse it's pushing the mouse this way because my thumb brings down here and it angles the mouse out a little about a little bit so you can even kind of see it pushing out where i'm just trying to go straight down you're gonna have a little bit of play with the vertical movement now say if i was pure fingertip right pure fingertip no palm and nothing yeah it does feel better my gameplay felt better when I was trying it. Um, we won't have actually any clips at the end of this. We're pretty much just talking about the mouse because my internet's been bad. So I didn't actually have time to get clips. I didn't have the internet to get clips. Everybody knows my issue pretty much. But when I purely fingertip this mouse, I can get good play. I can get good movements and just because my thumb's locked in and on the right hand side my fingers are locked in but it's still not comfortable the ultimate grip on a mouse is something that works for you it needs to be comfy if you're playing on something that's too big this literally fills my whole hand out and you're literally it, it it's comfy but it's this is pretty much like a palm grip at that point with my grip i have to fingertip the super light to get anywhere like that but my hands get fatigued faster with pure fingertip grips the bolt it's my main mouse because i can just throw my hand on the mouse and get the same grip and get the same performance you know every single time i use the mouse i don't have to change the grip i don't have to do anything to make it comfortable it just it's it's there it's there the aria i have to fingertip to get a good performance for me i have to purely fingertip the mouse to get a good performance out of the game out of my aim and everything like that the comfortable grip that i like using it just doesn't work it yeah you can you have movement you have range but in the back of my head i am it's this right side that flares out a little too much now if the mouse was a little more narrow so say if they took the orochi same width across just made it a tad bit longer so kept this a little wide 
and then angled it in just like this, just like the Aria, it would have beat the Orochi because it wouldn't be a different width like this one. In a small hand, this will feel large. I'm telling you guys right now, this will feel large. It's not going to be a small mouse. Like a lot of people say, it's going to feel a lot larger than the Orochi. I said there, it's like the Orochi on roids. Pretty much that. The height of the Orochi and the Aria are pretty much the same. They have the same height. The width, it just, you're gonna feel a wider mouse in hand if you have small hands like me. So at the end of the day, when I'm gaming. I want a nice, comfortable grip style of a mouse. I am going to pick up the Orochi if I have small hands all day long. If you can get used to the top sensor, higher up sensor, and you get used to the mouse, you get used to the speed of it, you're going to like it. You're going to, in my opinion, play a little better on it when you get a comfortable grip compared to the Aria. But what you get out of the Aria is you get a better sensor. You get, in my opinion, better clicks. Um, you get wireless. You don't have to change your battery out. And you get a better implementation on a mouse. It's just the shape that doesn't work for me. But some other things you do get with the Aria, you do get a removable shell. I prefer the solid shell over the ones with the holes in it. It just feels better. It solidness on this mouse, it definitely feels better than the one with the holes. So just like that, if you were if you have small hands and you're looking at picking up the Aria, just be warned that you will probably have that wideness feeling where it's gonna get uncomfortable for you. It's not going to feel natural. You're going to try to force your hand into a groove, into a grip that's going to be comfortable so you avoid that side. Now, say if you have 18 uh, centimeter by, let's say, 10 centimeter hands, you might be able to make this work. The longer length and a little wider, you might like the Aria more than Orochi. It's just going to depend on your hand size and what you prefer or what grip you want. If you pure fingertip every single mouse you get, you can get away with getting the Aria. If you like that more comfortable, relaxed grip, I would go for the Orochi if you have my shape hands once again. But skate wise, I have Tiger Ice on the Orochi. I have the stock skates on the Fantech. They feel pretty much identical. So I think Fantech uses Tiger Ice for their skates because they feel on this pad the same. So if you want good performing mouse, small hands, if you want to try an egg, try the Orochi first. See how you like it. If the Orochi is just way too small for you, then I would upgrade to an Aria. Other than that, that's it. That's my thoughts and a little review on the Aria and the shape comparison between the different eggs. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys keep rising up. And God bless, guys. Love y'all.